Okay, so I was helping my son with a subtraction problem this morning, and I just had an aha moment that uh, I was able to, to show him something because he understands negative numbers. Um, it's sad, really, I think now, in retrospect, realizing what I just discovered, that negative numbers aren't taught before this kind of subtraction is. But I'm just going to show you a new look on subtraction that doesn't require any borrowing or regrouping. If you look at these three problems, these three subtraction problems, you recognize pretty quickly that uh, you're not going to be able to do them really simply because in some cases <coughs> the number being subtracted, also known as the subtrahend, but that's not really that important. Um, one of the digits is, one, at least one of those digits is bigger than the digit the corresponding digit of the number it's being subtracted from, also known as the menu end. Again, who cares? Anyhow, um, I'm going to proceed through these subtraction problems uh, in a different way. You're used to going right to left. And you would say, you would say 7 minus 2 is 5. 4 minus 6, I can't do that, so I have to borrow from the 6 and so forth, but pull on that. All right, I've got another way that doesn't that, that's not involved that I'm not going to show you today, um, but I just discovered this. I want I was just really uh, wanting to show it. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to start with the hundreds. This is really not six minus three, right? It's really six hundred minus three hundred, and six hundred minus three hundred, we all know, is three hundred. Okay, now I'm going to proceed to 4 minus 6, but that really isn't 4 minus 6. If you're not thinking about that, it's 40 minus 60. Then you're losing the whole point of this problem, because it's not 4 and 6. It's 40 and 60. 40 minus 60. What is 40 minus 60? Well, before you understand negative numbers, you have to answer that, can't do it. But... If you understand negative numbers, you understand that 40 minus 60 is negative 20. And then 7 minus 2, that's a piece of cake. That's 5. So now, we take 300 and negative 20. That gives us 280. And 280 plus 5 is 285 and we haven't done any borrowing or regrouping. Let's try it again. And, and if you don't believe me, you can check that with a calculator. You can, do your bar, you can do your borrowing, regrouping method, whatever you want to. Trust me, 285 is correct. <clears throat> now, 763 minus 485. We're going to do the same thing. Let's, 700 minus 400 is, again, 300. 60. Minus 80. Uh, boring. It's again negative 20. I could have changed those 10 digits to make something different. And 3 minus 5. Well, 3 minus 5 is. Oh, let me change it to red. 3 minus 5 is negative 2. So what we have is 300 and negative 20 and negative 2. 300 and negative 20 is 280. 280 and negative 2 is 278. And of course you could check that by adding 278 to 485 and you'll see that you get 763. Let's try one more. I try to make it, I give an example of all three where you had to, where both digits required, this one both digits, tens digits and ones digits, don't work. Quote unquote. And the first example is just a tens digit that doesn't work. And in this third example, it's just the ones digit that doesn't work. So 500 minus 100 gives us 400. 90 minus 20 gives us 70. And 6 minus 8 gives us, I was boring again, negative 2. And if you add those up, you get 470 minus 2, 468. And you can check it if you don't believe me, but 
i think that method of subtraction using negative numbers is pretty cool.